What's up guys, BDigi Crypto here. Just wanted to bring you another video. Today we're gonna do a little, you know, setup tutorial on the Oblesk SC1 dual miner that we got here, ASIC miner. Um, so yeah, let's check it out and let's get started. So, what we got is ASIC miner. We got power supply. So normally you guys may have something like this guy here, you know, power supply cord, normal, you know, one, one ton outlet. We are going to be using this C13 to C14 because I'm running 240 outlet, so don't let that, you know, change your mind or nothing we're just gonna plug this guy in and it's just gonna be as if you were doing it to your normal 110 you know and you're gonna need Ethernet cable you know so we're gonna spin this guy around here right on the back Ethernet port you got a reset button here don't worry about that so plug your Ethernet in to start spin this guy around you got your power supply here Plug that guy in, and you got your switch. So now, we're not gonna fire this guy up yet because it's gonna sound like a jet engine. If you've never heard one of these, they get pretty loud. So, you know, you're gonna have your all your PCIe ports here for your power supply. You know, doesn't matter where they go, just plug them into every one of those there um, once you do that you are going to want to go to your modem you're gonna want to find your IP address jump on your computer punch that IP address into your browser that will pop up the main you know login for your miner that's how we're gonna get into the back end and set everything up so you must fire this thing up so we're gonna fire that thing up right now and then we will see you on the computer all right what's up guys here we are now this is the support page for Oblesk um, you can pick you know what generation you have and so on you know, the one we're working with is the SC1 dual generation two there. So we're gonna click on that guy and you're just gonna go, they have hardware repair stuff here and ask questions, but we're just gonna go get started, right? So now it brings you to this one. You got a couple different options, overview, they tell you about it, um, tell you this one part two tells you components, this one's power up which is basically what we just showed you and so we're going to go to part four setting up your obelisk slim so now we are here now we'll leave a link for this in the the bio for you guys so it makes it a bit easier to find but here you go access the dashboard and like i told you guys before you're going to want to jump on your ip address of your modem find the ip address that pops up from the obelisk miner you just plugged in it'll be something new that will pop up so if you logged on to your ip address prior to then you won't see it and then it should pop up after it fires up for a little bit so you're going to punch that up into your browser and then you're going to get a screen like this Right, so your password is going to be admin, admin to get in this thing. Username's admin, password's admin. You know, so here. So here's ours. Admin, admin. Logging in. So we just powered it on. So see, now it's getting fired up. What you're gonna wanna do, let's go back to the you know tutorial here. Minor configuration, you're gonna have to get set up with a pool. 
So at the bottom of this tutorial here, there's a couple links to pools. We set up on Luxor, you know, so you guys can do that. That's what we're gonna be showing you. Make your account, your username, all that stuff. Once that's all set up, come back here because you're going to want to go into yours minor and set it up. So we'll go over there right now. So you have a couple different things. Diagnostics, I just will show you some of that stuff. Network. Um, here we go. You're gonna want to set this DHCP to enabled host name obelisk um, system. You can set your your time and all that stuff. You can change your password if you want. We left ours. Uh, mining, you can you know check some things. You know, hashboard, you can adjust the fan speed. These fans get really loud at 100%. You know, depending on how hot it is, you can run them at lower and, you know, bring the noise level down. Um, and you got your dashboard up here, which we already showed you status, you know, a bunch of info, um, yada, yada, yada. Now, pools. Let's go back to your setup. We're going to come down here. That's all the stuff we just explained to you right here. Configure your mining pool settings. See example configurations below. Scroll down. Example Luxor, which is what we're going to, you know, be mining off of. You're going to copy this URL right here. That one. You're going to go to yours under URL. You're going to paste that. Now for your worker name. This is a bit different. So on this one, they have an address listed here and then the name of their worker with password X. That's not what we're going to do. If you signed up on Luxor, you're going to run your username there. The name of your miner here. You know, whatever you wanted to show up on the, you know, Luxor dashboard. Password is going to be one, two, three. Once you do that, everything, you know, should be good to go at that point. You're going to want to let it, you know, run for a little while. You know, once it gets hashed and then you can go over to your Luxor um, tab and then it'll, you know, it'll start pulling up in there and showing you that you're, you know, you are running and all is good um, you know this will show you you know you got heat seek temps firmware versions um, voltage amps uh, performance of your hash boards and so on um, some system info there and your pool info down below which is what we just entered accepts and rejects and so on so that should be about it you know once you punch in that info they're super simple they just kind of do their own thing after that and you just let them go um if you guys are having troubles getting into the you know this and the username's not working because you bought a used one and someone changed the password and they didn't give it to you and they didn't reboot the system you can try and push that and hold that button in the back and reset the system and see if that works Otherwise, um, you can go, you know, back to here, the support, you know, um, set up on Oblis website here, um, hardware repair, um, and then you'll have some stuff here. You know, there's some other stuff on the website on how to, um, redo the firmware you may have to do that you may have to take it apart pull there's a little you know micro card in there that you can pull out and reflash the firmware onto it and then it resets the whole thing and then you'll be able to uh, reset up your own username and password and so on so hopefully that you know that was a big help for you guys and hopefully you know those of you that had questions on setting one of these things up got them answered if we didn't, you know, feel free to comment. We'll try and help you out if we can. 
um, or steer you in the right direction. Otherwise, you know, like the video for us so it helps on that YouTube algorithm and subscribe, you know, and leave a comment below. Appreciate you guys watching and until next time, thanks.